G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday evening here in Australia, market up ever so slightly, really we've just been travelling sort of sideways around that kind of $2.9 trillion mark thereabouts, we're just under it at the moment. Bitcoin dominance risen ever so slightly, really kind of just stable around that kind of 42% mark, not a lot of volume, but I am thinking that there's probably going to be a little bit of volume coming fairly shortly. We've been seeing some volume coming on Sundays of late, just before the market gets ready to open on the Monday, uh, and that has been pushing prices up. So we'll wait and see if that plays out again. Bitcoin sitting at about $64,000. It was up around sixty-four and a half, getting back down to 64000 We'll have to wait and see if the down move is over. I get the feeling like it might be, but we'll have to wait and see. And gas price is sitting around $10. Definitely not cheap to do anything. And if you can actually get a transaction for $10, uh, you're doing quite well. It's generally a bit more expensive than that on Ethereum. All right, as we can see, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Again, some things up, some things down. So what's performed the best in the last 24 hours? In the top 100, of course. There we go, IOTX, I mean, that is just flying. It's been doing extremely well all week. You know, tomorrow it might be down a little bit, but then it'll be up uh, most likely substantially if it keeps playing out the way it's been playing. Look, KuCoin, AVAX, Loopring, doing the exact same thing. I mean, they're all on just absolute massive surges. Uh, Kadena as well, Rune Thorchain. Look, Doge making a bit of a move there. Uh, Solana making a move down there as well. So a couple of nice moves, nothing sort of too crazy really. And again, that's because the market is really just traveling sideways at the moment. All right, on the flip side then, what hasn't performed so well in the last 24 hours? There we go, Mana uh, down a little bit, but again, has been on an absolute tear. And in the next couple of days could be up again based on the way it's been going. Sand's been doing the same, Chili's, Engine, Stacks, see all exactly the same. They will pump for, you know, 24 48 hours maybe even sort of three days something like that and eventually they'll have a day or two where they cool off and then they'll just simply start to pump again now not all coins are going to do that but the ones that people are interested in at the moment and particularly metaverse nft sort of stuff which is again sandbox chilies engine mana that is people where are put where people are putting a lot of money and again it's getting to certain points particularly with traders and then they take their uh take their gains and things like that and that's why it's going up and down but the metaverse you know nft space is still really really hot at the moment so that is good for anyone in there but again if you want to get in front of things this is pumping now at some stage it will slow down now i'm not sure when that's going to be but what comes next if you can find out what's going to come next and i mean look we've already gone through the layer ones they've all pumped really really hard now they've quietened off a bit now the metaverse are starting to pump really hard and i just get the feeling like it'll all start to move into DeFi next so DeFi uh is where i would personally be looking now i'm not putting too much money into the market right now at all i'm keeping my cash on the side waiting for big dips because i think the volatility will get crazy but i did say ave the other day and i showed the charts of why i thought ave was good and why i put uh, not so much more money I got rid of my underperformers and converted them into Aave just because the charts were looking so good particularly Aave against ETH but this is also one of the reasons why Aave is rolling out their version 3 and there's a lot of people that are pretty hyped by it and so these are some of the things that's got going on so designed specific to layer 2 networks to improve user experience and reliability they're going uh, cross chain so allow assets to seamlessly flow through Aave 3 markets over different networks because Aave is now on Avalanche as well and I'm guessing it's probably going to move on to other networks as well it's on plant and old normal Ethereum it's also on Polygon so there's lots of things here high efficiency mode isolation mode all sorts of things a lot of people are quite bullish about Aave. And it, again, the whole DeFi space is very, very quiet at the moment. There's not a whole lot going on in DeFi except for really kind of Terra Luna. Terra Luna has been one of the uh, sort of exceptions. Everything else has been quite uh, quiet in DeFi. And I just get the feeling like it's going to be where the money starts to go again. I think the DeFi is the next space. Uh, where the money moves now I don't know when that's going to be and I'm again never financial advice and there's no guarantees in life but everything just kind of moves in cycles again we had DeFi sort of summer last year 
then DeFi just kind of quietened off. Then we went into uh, the layer ones. All the layer ones started to go absolutely crazy. Uh, and there was NFTs as, w uh, as well, sort of in between there. And then we have now moved into the, again, sort of gaming space, metaverse kind of space. And that's been going crazy. Eventually that will quieten down. And again, the money has to move to somewhere. I just get the feeling like DeFi is where all the money is going to go towards the end of this bull run, if we're actually coming to the end of the bull run, because there are no guarantees in life. So Aave for me, again, it wasn't just the the V3, but it definitely was just the charts. It looked like it was, again, at the bottom where basically everyone's given up and that's the best place to get in if you can get in there. Now, again, I don't want people to get confused. It absolutely could go lower. Maybe we're nowhere near people getting back into DeFi yet. And maybe Aave's had its pump and it'll never pump like that again. That's always a consideration you need to keep in mind. But I just don't think that's what's going to happen. I get the feeling like DeFi is going to start to fire up again. And Aave, I think, really is one of the best blue chips in the space. But again, that's just my personal opinion. All right, let's have a quick look at the Bitcoin chart and sort of see where we're at. You can see we found our support at old resistance, at the old all-time high, kind of $63,000, dollars which was nice, pumped up, and it's just holding on to there now. And now what we can see is it's early Sunday morning over stateside time. The last couple of Sundays is where we've had some pumps. Because the volume is low on the weekends, it doesn't take much to push the price up now. When I say it doesn't take much, you know, a couple of hundred million <laughs> or something like that will definitely push the price up. So me and you, the average Joe, we're not going to push the price up. But if there was a coordinated thing where everyone decided to get uh, together and buy Bitcoin on a Sunday, then that would most likely push it up because you don't have the effects of all the traditional markets. They're closed over weekends. So what I'm looking for is a bit of a move from Bitcoin sometime today stateside time. So again, it'll be more sort of Sunday night, Monday uh, morning Australia time, but Sunday stateside time. Just to see if it's playing out the same again, doing something like this. We'll have to wait and see. Now the last thing I want to bring to you today is just a quick one, Sunday, uh, and it's late. Taproot is finally live. So uh, it's the consensus has been done, everyone's agreed to it, uh, and it's been signed off. And it happened today at about 5.15, and it was activated on block 709,632. So Taproot is, it's official. It's happened. It's been a while since Bitcoin Core has actually had any sort of co any work done to it. Uh, stuff on the side, again, like Lightning and things like that has been done, but Bitcoin Core hasn't had an upgrade for quite some time. So... This is bullish and again it's to do with you know helping smart chains get onto bitcoin and things like that making it uh the fees cheaper and things like that as well so this space love it i wouldn't want to be anywhere else uh and I, i'm guessing if you're watching my channel you probably feel the same what i want you to do is just do me this one little favor go down into the comments and put whatever your favorite crypto is. I want to know your favorite one. You know, is it Bitcoin? Is it Ethereum, Solana? Whatever it is, I'd love for you to put down in the comments what your favorite coin is. And also, let me know what you think your end of year prediction is for that coin. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. I hope you're all on that game train. And I'll see you next time.